don't want that type of addresses anymore. We don't addresses that we able to uh, roughly say, oh, uh, observe what's uh, something wrong with our eyes or what color of our face, and then they can call the doctor. This is what I observe. What can I do with this patient? So the doctor can mention, you know, because the doctor cannot be 24 hours uh, looking over one patient. There's a sovereign now, especially the aging group now, by 2030, will be about 35% aging group. Aging means uh, uh, 6 series. Kalau PMW, 6 series, 7 series, yeah. But if aging group, you know, our, uh, we need what? Multi, more multivitamins or uh, equipment that help us to walk because we just cannot sit down and watch TV. We can go mad, why not? We need to interact with human beings, we need to travel. So, this is the uh, data. Okay, when we talk about, uh, we have seen uh, the best practices in uh, Finland, we have seen uh, the challenges just now when we, we know so where we are in the maths and science at the international level. So, the ideal STEM lesson, when we want to teach for maths and science, we must start with the real world issue first. I visited Singapore, uh, their primary school also, they're already starting. What's the Singapore challenges now? They said, my grandmother, very pretty, my grandfather, this thing. So they're talking about any group. So how can we help? And then uh, when they're talking about maths, what's, what shall we do? How? What's the problem solving? What's the invention? So, and then they relate it to them.